Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Router 2 Brief. I know I just uploaded a video, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, so look, <clears throat> here's my plan. Uh, collard greens, that's what this is. Get it in at Jewel grocery store. They love collard greens and bok choy. Everyone's really healthy. Everyone's doing really well. Corals are looking a little better. Sorry about the mess. That's all the stuff that was inside the Cheeto when I shook it out in the aquarium. Star polyps are extended more. The frog spawn is looking better. Duncan coral is looking really pretty good. This guy looks smaller. Hammer coral, he's supposed to be like four times the size. Valerie, I love that guy. All right, here's the deal. Okay, this is what I got going on. You guys may know, this isn't gonna be the edited version of a video. I just wanted to share something with you guys. I have one sump right here. That's like a 20 gallon sump, it's half full. It's got a protein skimmer in it. For those of you who don't know what a protein skimmer is, it's got a motor at the bottom. It churns all the water, causing thousands and thousands of bubbles to churn and go to the neck, and then they rise up and they pop, and all the crap stays in the cup, but the bubbles go back into uh, just water. Once the bubbles pop, the water goes out through that little nozzle into the uh, aquarium. Back into the aquarium, there's a pump in the back. The water gets pumped back up into the aquarium above. So that's how I filter my uneaten food and fish shit. Um, I have over here a second aquarium, a 20 gallon. I got it from Petco for the 20, uh, the dollar per gallon sale. I wanted to have more water diluting my tank. The more, the larger your sump, the better it is. This little aquarium beneath is filled with water and that's your sump. And that's it. A lot of people have foam blocks that the water runs through, but the foam blocks have to be cleaned out. Because if you don't, all the nasty fish shit and everything gets trapped in it, and that's going to pollute your water, okay? I don't have any foam blocks for that reason. I don't have any sump socks for that reason. Um, I'm going to be going back to my rotter tubes. More info on that later. But look at this. Here's the 20 gallon sump. A refugium. That's the che the Chiedo right there. And uh, right now it's holding on to fish shit and uneaten food. I think I'm going to take that out. Okay. I, I mean, it it's just not worth it for me, and I'll tell you why. So right here I've got like just a simple loop. I've got water coming in on this side from the aquarium because I've got this is where the water is going back into the tank from this aquarium. This is where the water is flowing down. It flows down, I got a ball valve to control the flow. That's set just right, so the water level is always the same. It goes through that purple pipe into the aquarium. Then it just gets picked up right from to this return pump through the black hose and back up into my tank. Now what's the problem with this? All the uneaten food in the shit stays in my sump. That's not good. I'm basically just pumping back bad water into my aquarium. Lead can be okay because if there's uneaten food and everything, it's gonna be good for the corals and the amphipods and all that stuff and, and the fish as well. But here's my plan. Because my nitrates are at 20 because I've got a lot of fish. I hate reflections in my videos. I got a lot of tangs. Tangs are messy. Tangs go to the bathroom a lot. And when these guys go to the bathroom, it's bad. So that's why I've got this S200 protein skimmer by eShops. It's capable of handling up to 250 gallon aquarium and this is 125 so I'm more than set. However, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, it's like do I put a sump sock in here? Nope, I hate cleaning them. Do I put a rotter tube in here? I will. Um, but I gotta cut this pipe down right now and uh, before I do that and I'm a little lazy so what do you do um, 
you cannot, there's no such thing as over filtering or skimming. So what I'm going to do is I thought about putting another skimmer in this uh, sump, this 20 gallon. Plenty enough room for that. There's no glass baffles, they're meaning walls separating anything. It's simply, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm taking this Jado out of here. I'm going to feed it to the fish, which means I don't have to run a light to grow Chieto that will no longer exist. I'm going to take this out of here. So I'm going to simply have one large 20 gallon aquarium. I'm going to purchase um, another protein skimmer. Yep. So I'm going to have one in this sump skimming. Okay. Now this sump always has really nice water clarity because it's doing an awesome job at skimming the water out. The water that comes out of the aquarium through this white tube goes into the sump and it gets skimmed really nicely and then pumped back. So there's clean water going back into my tank. This side, not so clean. I thought it wouldn't be a big deal and it's really kind of not. But um, I'm going to throw a second skimmer in here. So I'm going to have two skimmers. So the water is going to be skimmed here and here and that should really help me a lot. Now I'm looking at putting in, I called my local reef store, one of the ones I go to, to see what they have in stock. I like to order things off Amazon usually but I see the guys like, hey I got a great deal on an S300. I got my name on it, it's going to be mine. The S300 um, is capable of skimming up to a 300 gallon aquarium. So I'm going to have enough skimming for 500 gallon aquarium roughly and I got a 125 gallon aquarium. You can never over skim so that's my plan. No sponges, no sump socks, no nitrate traps. Just two powerful skimmers from hell. Now another thing is this. My bio pellet reactor. Uh, I've had this thing running for what, two or three months? My nitrates just aren't going down, you know? Um, you know what works for me? Dosing table sugar. I put one, here it is. Table sugar. I put two teaspoons of table sugar in every day. I feed them, I put two teaspoons of table sugar in. That always resulted in zero nitrates for me. This bio pellet reactor by uh, Reef Octopus, I absolutely love it. But it's not working for me. So if you guys are interested, I think I'm gonna sell it. Let me know. I'll put the make and model in the comments. And if you guys are interested in purchasing said bio pellet reactor, I'll sell it to you. So it works great. It's just, it's just, it's just not handling the load. Now, if I just had like one or two tangs, you know, it would be fine, right? It would work well. It would handle the load. Um, that's what she said. I'm sorry. It just had to happen. Um, so that's the deal, but I don't have one or two tangs. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and two of them are really large. You got the Nassau tang and the Fowlery tang monsters. And then I didn't count my clownfish. There's one dude. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I freaked them out. Um, then I got the two big clowns here. See them? Look at the look how messy this is. The water has looked better. There's my snowflake. There she is. All right. So that's that's basically what's going on, kids. Um, a lot of tangs, a lot of messy crap. When these when these guys go to the bathroom, they go to the bathroom. I mean, you know, you know. Clownfish, you don't see it much, right? But when these two guys, when they go to the bathroom, it looks like, it looks like, like they're spraying, you know, 
over a cornfield. You know, pesticide, it's just, it's just bad. So, uh, yeah, so that's the deal. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the bio pellet reactor and just go back to sugar dosing if you guys are interested. It's, a, it's awesome, it works phenomenal, um, these bio pellet reactors. Um, and I'll even include the, uh, the bio pellets in there as well. Um, I'll rinse it out and ship it out to whoever's interested. Um, look in the video description, the comments. I just wanna have a cleaner tank and the bio pellet reactor is just not doing it because I've got so many tangs. If I had like one or two tangs, it would be great with a bunch of other fish. But these monsters, the only thing that's going to get rid of that nitrate is uh, water changes and sugar dosing or vodka dosing or uh, vinegar dosing, white vinegar. So that's the deal. I'll have two protein skimmers. Totally don't want to spend the money. Really do not want to spend the money, but... 125 gallon aquarium. Uh, it'll it'll really help me out to skim that crap out of the water. So I'll basically just be running two protein skimmers, and that's it. And uh, I'll hook that router tube back up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me uh, babble. Sorry, this was not an edited version, but I don't think many people care. Just another quick uh, video. Have a great rest of the weekend. It's beautiful weather. Get out and do something. And I'll see you at the next video. Don't forget to click and subscribe if you haven't already. And every Friday night, for the most part, we have live streaming on RotterTube Reef YouTube. Thanks, guys. Happy reefing.